Hello and welcome to my Huddle to Frequently Asked Questions follow-up video. So my previous two videos, the initial impressions and unboxing video, and then my follow-on Huddle to full review video, uh, generated a number of questions. So what I thought I'd do is I'd put a video together that would address some of those questions. Now I know one of the big questions that I get asked quite a lot in the comments is how good is the battery? Well, today I did a bit of a test on the Huddle 2 and it took from, from a completely zero, the battery ran out completely, to a full charge, it took three hours and 20 minutes. Although, I have to say, it may have been quicker than that because I got distracted doing some editing for the channel as well. So it could have been, uh, could have been quicker, but at least three hours, 20 minutes is not bad. That's to a full charge. Uh, something else that others have been uh, complaining about is responsiveness, or uh, not so much complaining about, but, but have, have commented about, is responsiveness of the device. So I've got my Huddle 2 right now hooked up to the television through the uh, mini HDMI connector. And I'm just going to bring up the, um, the calendar, sorry, not the calendar, the calculator, and just show you the responsiveness. I'm going to zoom in on the screen so you can see a little bit better rather than just looking at my head. So I'm going to bring up the calculator, if I can find it there. And then, as you can see, I was doing some tests earlier on. So I'll tap away on the buttons there. You can see how responsive it is. I'm quite happy with the responsiveness of that device. I know testing on a calendar isn't, calculator, sorry, isn't uh, a great test. So let me do a typing test. So that's pretty good. What else can we do? Um, let's go Apple Store. <laughs> I'm not having any issues whatsoever with uh, responsiveness on this device. One thing I will say is that if I zoom back out so you can see me again, hello. Uh, one thing I would say is it could be to do with the amount of um, apps you've got running in the background. Uh, one way to counter that is if you press the, the, the icon in the far right corner, you can actually swipe up. So if I show you that on the screen, actually. So if you press this icon, hopefully you can see that. Let me come forward a little. Uh, if you press this icon, you can access the running apps and just swipe them up to close them. So you could get a certain element, certain amount of slowdown or slow slowness on the device if you've got lots of apps open. So particularly if you've been browsing the internet, watching some videos on YouTube, you've opened uh, lots of apps on your device, and then you you may have some slowdown, particularly if the device is doing things in the background as well. So maybe you've got Bluetooth on, maybe you've got your Wi-Fi on, it's downloading updates, downloading uh, application updates, all sorts of things that could contribute to a lack of responsiveness on the device. Uh, so just make sure that you've got, you know, if you are suffering, suffering from responsiveness issues, just make sure you've got all your apps closed. And that kind of lends in a little bit to some advice I can give in terms of battery power. Now I know Tesco's claim that the battery on this will last for eight hours, but it does come with um, a small disclaimer suggesting that that is dependent on what you're doing with the device, obviously, and that goes for any device really. But some of the things that you can do to help preserve the life of your Huddle 2's battery when you're using it. Uh, number one, you could adjust the brightness. So it's currently set to auto, but what you could do is you could manually override that and you could change, bring down the brightness of the screen. So if you were watching a film, for instance, perhaps you'd wanna keep that on auto to make sure that you get the be best quality uh, image from the screen. But if you were playing an app, maybe you're doing something on the device where you don't really need a bright screen, then by swiping down and adjusting the brightness, you don't have to have such a bright screen, which will contribute to saving some time on the battery. Now I'm gonna set mine back to auto for a second. In a, sorry, my dirty fingers. <laughs> set it back to auto, thank you very much. And now, the other things that you could do is you could switch Bluetooth off. Mine is by default switched off. So I move my Huddle 2 uh, so that you can see it. There we go. So um, Bluetooth is switched off, but the Wi-Fi, um, you might want to switch Wi-Fi off as well if you're doing something on the device that you, you don't need Wi-Fi connection. Uh, but, you know, uh, Another thing is, again, coming back to managing apps, make sure all the apps are closed. Don't keep apps open constantly. Uh, what you could do is, when you're not using it, put it in standby, but overnight, what you could do 
is hold the button down and actually switch it off. How many of you leave your Huddle or any tablet device switched on to standby overnight? So switch, just switch it off completely. And those are just some simple little things that you can do to keep your Huddle's battery at optimal performance. Obviously then switching back on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as and when you need them. A few other questions that I've been asked uh, regarding Bluetooth is, can you connect a keyboard to this device? Yes, you can connect a Bluetooth keyboard to this device. In fact, I've successfully done that with a Microsoft keyboard. You can also, uh, sorry, somebody also asked me, is the Bluetooth device, uh, the, is the Huddle 2's mm -hmm. Bluetooth APTX compatible? APTX means that over a Bluetooth connection, the quality of the sound, so maybe you're playing some audio over, over a Bluetooth connection, that the, the, the quality of the sound is maintained. So I've spoken to Tesco's technical support today, and the Huddle 2, according to them, definitely does not support APTX. Whilst I was on the phone to Tesco's, I asked them, was there any news on the Huddle 2 getting Android Lollipop? And they said no. So no news, no date on if or when the Huddle 2 is going to get Android Lollipop. A couple of other questions that I've had asked about the Huddle 2 device is, does it support the Play, Google Play? Yes, absolutely it does. Uh, does it support, let me go to the apps, does it support BBC iPlayer? Yes, it does, because I've got that installed on it. Oh, there we are, BBC iPlayer. I'm going to turn that off quickly because I don't have the rights to broadcast BBC over the YouTube. Uh, Netflix, yes, I've got Netflix installed. I shall be setting that up and doing a test later on because um, uh, Tesco's have their own Blinkbox service. So I was interested to see if I could install Netflix on this device without uh, the Tesco software making some restriction. So yes, Netflix does work very well on this device as well. Lastly, I've had a couple of people uh, mention about lag with regards to playing games. One of those games that was mentioned by one person, I must confess, there's only one person that mentioned this, um, and that's called uh, Paper Toss. So let me zoom into the screen again so that you can see, and I will go on easy mode. Uh, I'm going to toss the paper. Oh, good shot. Now, let me just show you when it comes back up. No issue for me personally, I don't find any issue with lag on that game. I've never played this game before, as you can, oh, well, that was a good shot. I've never played this game before. Um, I was going to say, as you can tell, well, that was quite a good shot, wasn't it? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at my screen so I can see what's <laughs> happening on this screen. And uh, I'm not seeing any lag, unless this game performs better on a different device. I'll try it on my phone, but actually, I'm quite happy with that responsiveness. I don't have any issues there. The game's not stuttering. Uh, when I finish playing the game, I will go to Manage Apps, and I will close all of these apps, because as you can see, I didn't do very much with the device. I opened a few things, but those apps are now running in the background. That affects battery. That affects uh, performance of the device. So all in all, um, let me zoom back out so you can see me again. This is where I could do with a, uh, a producer or a director helping me with the videos. And um, yeah, I mean, if there's any other questions that you want ans answered, by all means, f put them in the comments, leave me a question, and I'll do my best to do another follow-up video if there's anything that I haven't already covered. I'm going to run a separate video, which I'll put a link in the description when it's done, of something that I did with a different device today, and that is to give the device a full charge and then set it up on a time-lapse video to see how much battery is used by having the device play in a YouTube video for an hour, and we'll just see how that performs then. So all in all, good stuff. Any more questions, fire them across, and I'll do my absolute best to answer those questions for you on the Huddle 2. Bye for now.